Okay, Ben, uh, the last one we'd like to throw in as part of our base offense is East Strong Slap Sprint. This really isn't part of our series base offense, but this is such a good play for us that we really want to make it one of our cores. It also give me a good chance to introduce you to what smoke looks like. Again, we're going to work just with the tight end on this. Well, focus on the tight end, but let me show you everything so you don't feel overwhelmed by the play itself. Okay, so East Strong Slap Sprint. So we're in East, we're in Strong. Uh, we would probably call this East Strong Smoke, which means we put all three of our guys over here in a bubble. Although we don't have to do it in Smoke, we could go East Strong over. But the point is, we're gonna throw a pass to this place over here, so if we can keep as many defenders away from that side of the play without having to struggle on it, we'll do that first. So let's talk about smoke. Here's what happens on smoke. On smoke, this is an RPO out of a diamond formation. Wide out is going to block the first person from the sideline in. Slot blocks the second person. And all we have the jet do is take a step forward and a step back. It's a little hitch pass. Uh, and we only throw this if we have numbers, meaning if we line these three kids over here and the defense only puts two players over there, we're not going to run the regular play. Mason's going to get the ball and just throw it out there, and we're going to make this work. Okay? Um, next, up front, my guys, they have what's called slap blocking here. And slap stands for step laterally, that's the SL, ass to the pass. Mason is gonna set up over here, so all of my guys know that they take a step laterally. And then they turn their big back sides so that they're facing Mason. Mason, after taking the snap, is going to sprint out here. There's no fake involved at all. He just sprints out wide, and he's told to pass or run. Truth be told, we tell him to run before pass, because just the chances of something going wrong are less. The tailback lines up wider, and what he's told is he has to seal the end man on the line of scrimmage. It's taken two years of doing this with Josh, but he's got it down now. And that means he's got to go right at that guy and hook him so Mason can get outside. Now, what's your guy doing? Let's check it out. The tight end and the wing are going to work together on this play. And they're going to find the number one defender from the sideline in, which is probably a quarterback sitting right about here. They are going to put that kid in a vice, and it means this. The wing is going to run a quick arrow right in front of that cornerback, and the wing is going to keep going to the sideline. The tight end is going to run a two-step, again, outside foot first, one, two, and then he's going to run his arrow right behind the cornerback. Now, there should be somebody, a linebacker or a safety, responsible for the tight end. But again, we're running away from that person. So he should be open, or he should be open, depending on what the corner does. If the corner comes up and takes that wing, Mason should be able to dump this over. If the corner draws back and takes the tight end, Mason should be able to dump this under. Pretty simple. But... What is so cool on this play is if both of these guys get covered, there's a lane for Mason to run to. And that young man is not afraid to run the ball. And this has been a really, really good play for us because we've got the right kind of kid running it here, and we've got the right kind of kid here who knows how to get into his area. Again, if for some reason they've dropped into a zone, he knows to sit in the window. Don't keep going to where the player is. Cut it off and wave your hand to look for Mason. Um, and like I said earlier, 
we don't have to run this with the bubble. You could take this jet over here, put him in motion early and have him get behind, and then they've got to follow him and it screws up who reads the tight end. It's not a bad idea either. But for our install next week, we'll probably do it out of smoke. Okay, so that's our five base plays. That's reach, that's 6GO, that's the crisscross, that's green, and that is sprint. That's what we're hoping we can install in the first week of practice and run them in the scrimmage. Let me know if you have questions.